Hey y'all, this is Bill from Swampers RC, and we're going to talk about this uh, Trail Finder 2 long wheelbase. It's running stock electronics, which all seem to work pretty good. Uh, I've not had a problem with the servo or anything. And, uh, It's all pretty good stuff, I'd say. And I run it on 2S, sometimes 3S. Most times just 2S. Now, I put a RC four-wheel drive body lift on here, which that caused a few more issues. But they were easy enough to solve the uh there's a big gap between the sliders and the body after doing that <clears throat> so i flipped the sliders upside down and i snipped out the inner bar on the sliders so they would clear the mount the body mount then that uh rc four wheel drive tough armor rear bumper also had a big gap between it and the body so I flipped those mounts upside down which brought it up to where it needed to be now on the hitch mount the the original brackets for the hitch mount would not work with this setup so I made my own out of some 1 8 by 3 quarter flat stock aluminum in order to bring the hitch up to where it needed to be. And I also flat, uh, flipped the hitch mount itself upside down, which put the hitch in the ideal location. Now when I got this truck, it was second hand, but it had no runtime on it at all. Uh, the person had sold the front shocks off it, and he gave me some um, <clears throat> RC four wheel drive king shocks with it, which were 70 millimeter. I ended up taking those off and put on some uh, 80 millimeter knockoff king shocks from China, non branded, and I removed the outer springs off. And in conjunction with that, I used the Galande 2 front shock hoops, which gave me a lot more wheel travel, because the, the original shock <clears throat> that was on here was actually restricting the, the, the wheel travel. And on the rear, I had to move the shocks from the innermost mounts out one hole so that they would clear the springs without hanging up. And I also added a Dinky RC low pro skid plate because uh, anybody who's had an RC four wheel drive knows that their skid plates hang way low. Big hang up point. And that made a big improvement. Of course, uh, I couldn't use the the center bearing support for the drive shaft, so I eliminated that and got a longer steel drive shaft, non-branded, um, from Wish, which is where the front shocks came from. Also, came from Wish, <clears throat> and that took care of that problem. Now the, the wheels are also from Wish and the tires. Um, got those uh, on the, you can find them under the brand name Injora. Uh, same with the tires. Uh, they're 196 lug wheels. And the tires say Rock's Tire Super Swamper on them. 
and the tread pattern is basically a copy of a Proline tire which I can't remember the name of right now um, now I've also got the RC four-wheel drive worn lock hubs on the front and a set of GCM scale hubs on the back which I painted black the uh, the roll bar that's in there is no longer available from RC four-wheel drive but I think it's probably the most scale one that they made for the trail finder too and when I put the uh, RC four-wheel drive front inner fenders on here <clears throat> because of the body lift I could not cut them on the factory marks so I used the upper shock mount hole to locate them put in screws where necessary and then trimmed them off flush with the bottom of the frame so that all worked out pretty good now on the uh, as far as uh, suspension mods, the other thing I've done was, uh, well, I started off with the uh, A&M <coughs> uh, shackle reversal kit for the front. And then later I took those brackets off and I made my own front brackets, which raised the front end up some. Then on the back... I replaced the RC four-wheel drive shackles with some shackles from an extra speed trailer which are a little bit longer and that evened up the suspension so she sits real nice now um, I used some uh, 332 tubing to make a fake exhaust system on here Um, and the uh, sound system also came from Wish. It was a just a cheap twenty dollar engine sound emulator, and it sits on the frame, or I should say, the speaker sits on the back of the frame under the bed. And the uh, the sound unit itself is on the the uh, radio tray, which on these uh, TF2 long wheelbase is a U-shaped tray. Now I installed the um, RC four-wheel drive basic light set for TF2. Also have the RC four-wheel drive light bar on the front. and a little yellow flashing light up top which is kind of hard to see from this angle and tip it a little bit for you see it up there now that also came from wish about done oh, okay we got the pimple hitch back there um, which that one I think I got that on eBay uh, what else oh, I've got the full interior from RC four wheel drive in here but I did not use the dash that comes with the interior the interior comes with a right side drive dash so made a few little minor cuts on the, on the dash that came with the truck and installed that so I've got left side drive on here I've also got the metal emblems on the front and on the tailgate from RC four wheel drive And uh, 
I think that's about everything that I can think of here that I've done to it. Um, oh yeah, one other thing. I did use some slightly wider hexes on here. Wider than stock. Which uh, kind of helped um, as far as keeping the front tires from rubbing when I turn. So, uh, like I said, it's still running stock electronics. Got the 45 turn motor, RC four wheel drive, speed control, and uh, the radio system that comes with it. That's all pretty good. Um, now, also on the on the body mount, I do not have to use the screwdriver to put this body on and off. It's a quick dismount, quick mount and dismount system. I simply put the screws in from the inside so that they stick out and I just hook the body on the, onto those screws and you can actually pick it up by the roll bar and, and it, no sign of letting go period it holds on really good and I don't use the rear body mounts I just cut them off so that they won't stick up out of the, into the bed And uh, the little CB antenna up there came from Wish. I think that was free with like $2 shipping. There's my homemade brackets right there. I used the front bumper mount to hang the light on there. Now the light is actually running through this switch right here, which is remote controlled. And anybody else going to use one of these switches, uh, I got it from Wish. Uh, it was either free or a dollar, but when you're not using it, unplug it from your battery because it will kill your battery. As you can see, I've got a LiPo down here to run the truck and then a uh, nickel metal battery to run that light. That's the sound unit. has a volume control on it. it actually looks like I moved the shocks over two holes from stock up top there's the speaker for the sound system and I also used a wire connector to run a wire back here next to the hitch that's for the trailer lights. So I hope that answers all the questions anybody might have. And I'll see you on the next one.